Всем привет! Сейчас я нахожусь в Киевской области и приехал сюда, чтобы показать вам этот замечательный город. Когда-то я вам показал видео о комплексе жилищных комплексов, который был построен для наших местных людей Д. Лой Хэнсон. И теперь есть еще один similar town that Mr. Hansen built with his own money, and this town is for displaced older people, those who lost their homes due to the war and have nowhere to live. Most of them are from the Donbass region, many of those who live here came from the city of Bakhmut and many are from Chasidyar, the two cities that were totally destroyed by Russia's military. Today Delon Hansen himself came to visit here to talk with the residents of this town that he has built and continues to support. There will be a small concert and I will also show you how the people live here and how all this was made. When you are here, you have a feeling that this is not Ukraine, but perhaps someplace in Western Europe, or perhaps in America. You really could use this area for making a film, and no one would figure out where your film was made. At this time the town has about 200 residents, but it continues to grow and soon it will have a few hundred more moving in. This town is for older people, who certainly would not be able to buy themselves new housing after their homes were ruined by the Russian military. Here they can live for unlimited time and free of charge. In other words, they don't get to own these houses, but they become free users. Those who are fortunate to get this, this housing are extremely happy. Here is a poster with the names of Ukrainian communities whose residents came here after they became displaced. According to the town managers, the biggest number of their residents came from Bakhmut because it was a large city and it was totally erased by Russians. Owing to Mr. Hansen, they were able to find their new homes in the Kiev region. Our house was bombed and I got wounded with a leg injury and our mayor helped us to move to another place. But on January 23rd, that building was destroyed as well. So we had to evacuate to Konstantinivka. We didn't know what to do next and where to go. Thank God our old Lada Model 5 was still running. So we went to Zaporizhia, where a kin family sheltered us. Thank God. And now we are here, and I want to tell Mr. Henson that this was truly a great miracle. My sister sent me a link to the application form, and I couldn't believe that it would work. But thank God she insisted that I fill it out and apply. It was back in November. I had no words to tell you how much joy we had when we learned. God bless you. There is no joy in money, there is joy in love. I keep saying that I am blessed to be able to help you. Money brings no happiness, but when your money can be used for doing good, then it makes you immensely happy, truly happy. Bakhmut, Bakhmut. So, here we can see the difference in the treatment of these people by Russia and by Ukraine, and such friends of Ukraine as Deloy Hansen. For comparison, let us look at how people live in the communities occupied by Russia two years ago. One example is Toshkovka, I featured this story earlier. Local residents have no electricity, no natural gas, no running water. We've had no electricity for two years, so hard to live this way. Yes, I can imagine you've been using power generators and pot belly stoves. We've got no electricity, it is cold, no buses coming here. 
if they could only send just one bus per week and there is no change, no. Here, they built not only housing for people, but a whole town with an infrastructure. There is a community center. Inside it, a movie theater. It is not large, but well equipped with modern technology. And these old people who used to live in Bakhmut or Chasivyar certainly could not go to such a cinema there. Also, there is a hairdresser salon with various services available, a medical office and a library. Also, next to the community center, we can see a mini farm with greenhouses. The residents can grow their own vegetables, flowers. This is something for the old people to be busy with. This is a nice opportunity for those who like to grow plants. But in addition, there is also a chicken house. Some hens were brought here recently, and some locals plan to grow chicken and have eggs for sale. So, in addition to other things, this is an opportunity for a small business, where people could make some money for themselves and perhaps for their town maintenance. So, the sales of chicken meat and eggs could generate some income for them. This is a remarkably pleasant and heartwarming place. Importantly, it was created for elderly people. In our practices, charity projects for old people are not common somehow. More often, assistance projects are aimed at children. But this particular settlement was made for elderly people, those who have nowhere to go for help unless they have relatives that are capable of keeping them. Such people are the most vulnerable for and this project provides for them. And the most amazing thing is that Deloy Henson, the American businessman who made all this, has no connection to Ukraine. He is not of Ukrainian origin, has no roots here or any relatives from here. He simply heard that these people need help and he wanted to do it and having enough of his own money, he spends a part of it on charity. So, he built these houses for people. In fact, he had built a number of such towns for the refugees, the displaced people that lost everything they had. Of course, I would like to ask, did the Ukrainian oligarchs consider doing something of this kind? In fact, even before the war, they, they could have been helping those individuals who became homeless. Uh, but in 30 years, they did not build anything like this. But more importantly, look at the attitude of Russia. We hear so many words from Russia saying how they love the people of Donbass, how Russia is helping them and protecting them from suffering. But can you show me even one such settlement in Russia with such houses for those people from Donbas who lost their homes due to the war? All Russian tycoons, celebrities, political figures, stars of show business, all of them fabulously rich, and not even to mention the government of Russia, which has tremendously big revenues from the super profits on selling raw materials. So can you show me even one such town, either in the Donbas or in Russia, that Russians built for Donbas refugees? No, you won't find any. So here an American came to Ukraine and built this settlement for people from Donbas, but Russia did nothing of the kind, and this truly shows their real attitude. One can say anything they like, but it really matters what they do, the facts. And here we see it. What this man really did, what he created, Whereas in Russia they keep saying that America is bad, they curse America, but Russia did not make anything even close to what one single American person has made here in Ukraine.